Are you born do a puti one more time we are in another beautiful session chapter 1 living tissues in front of you simple permanent tissue is the one what we have been speaking about and chapter 1 is there in front of you grade 11 science and that's english medium definitely we're going to talk about complex permanent tissue today we already talk about the rest of the other one and finally in the plant tissue we are going to discuss about complex permanent tissues let's go and find out what exactly the complex permanent tissue is all about in this beautiful video video number 6 According to the nature of the permanent tissues it can be grouped into two we know that simple permanent tissue that has only one type of cells collected together we already know about it and the complex permanent tissue is the next one the complex permanent tissue got different types of cells collected together so we have the clear difference between the simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissues so you are clear about it different types of cells together form a complex permanent tissue that is right two complex permanent tissues are there those are xylem and phloem those can be identified in plants like xylem and what is the other one phloem that's right phloem xylem and phloem now you know how to pronounce that now where do you find that xylem and phloem are found in vascular system of root where do you find that vascular system of root stem and leaves of the plant not only the vascular system of food it also find in vascular system of root stem and leaves of the plant so that's very interesting isn't it so we came to know that where you find that now now it's time for us to dig deeply about it xylem tissues let's understand that this tissue is composed of four different types of cells now you see this one it's vessels that is right in your book also it says vessel element tracheids are there that is the second one and xylem parenchyma and the na- next one is xylem fiber so we will understand what it is Xylem vessel elements are cylindrical elongated cells. This looks exactly like this. Now, xylem vessel is in front of you. Xylem vessels elements stack on top of the other and the cross walls are dissolved to form a continuous xylem vessels. So xylem vessels continues and it goes on like that. Now that is over here. Now this tubular structure helps in transportation of water in plants. This particular tube-like structure is helping the water to transport from the root. That is right. Now let's understand the next one. Tracheids. Tracheids are elongated spindle-shaped cells. it has a spindle shape one yeah now they also help in transportation of water so the vessels and tracheids they both are helping to transport water xylem fibers xylem fiber is the last one which is on your picture a narrower and shorter than tracheids that is narrower and shorter than the tracheids xylem vessels tracheids 
and xylem fibers this one this one and this one that is right become dead why due to lignification of cell walls this is the right word that you want to remember why those are becoming dead due to lignification of cell walls that is very clear now to you they provide support to xylem tissues they provide support after that to the xylem tissues now it's time for us to understand the xylem parenchyma xylem parenchyma are living cells with a thin cell wall now they involve in food storage now these three vessel tracheids they were talking about the water now xylem parenchyma they involve in food storage what is the function of xylem tissue it's time for us to understand that now when you're looking at that picture you can clearly see what are we going to talk about transportation of water and minerals remember these two transportation of water and minerals to the plant body which are absorbed by plant roots happens through this xylem that's right providing of mechanical support to plant body that is also one thing that it's doing as function now we understood what is it all about complex tissue xylem now it's time to understand the phloem tissues now phloem tissue is also got the four things you can see longitudinal and cross section of the phloem tissue now let's understand the four other things what we found phloem tissue is composed of also four different type of cells sieve tube elements that is over here you see this one okay and the second one companion cell that's on top of sieve tube element phloem fiber is there phloem fiber is there and phloem parenchyma is there the phloem fiber is not marked down here okay you understood where is that phloem parenchyma well let's further understand what they are going to talk about the sieve tube elements this one fuse end to end and the cross walls are incompletely dissolved to form a sieve tube the sieve tube elements fuse end to end and the cross walls are incompletely dissolved to form a sieve tube the cross walls in these sieve tubes are called sieve plates you can see that the sieve plate is over here it is marked over there the cross walls in these sieve tubes are called what sieve plates now sieve tubes transport food mainly sucrose throughout the plant as a solution as what as a solution so please do remember they might ask you a question as this as what it is getting transported companion cells are elongated cells associated with sieve tube elements also the companion tab tube is over here you see this one okay now companion cells the nucleus of the companion cells controls the activities of the sieve tube elements sieve tube elements lack a nucleus it doesn't got a nucleus but the companion cells got a nucleus so the nucleus of the companion cells control the activities of what of the sieve tube element also so sieve tube elements companion cells and phloem parenchyma are living cells sieve tube elements companion cells and phloem parenchyma are living cells whereas phloem fibers are dead and found scattered in phloem tissue whereas once again i'm telling phloem fibers are dead and found scattered in phloem tissue functions of the phloem tissue finally we want to understand the food synthesized 
in the leaves are transported throughout the plant body by this tissue. They call it as translocation. So the translocation happens through phloem tissues. The food synthesized in the leaves are transported throughout the plant body by this what? By this phloem tissue. They call it as translocation. So there comes to the end of the plant tissues and we understood the phloem and the xylem tissue and the complex tissues. I'm going to meet you and talk about the animal tissues in our next session. Till then, bye-bye, take care of yourself.